The most difficult thing, the most conceptually problematic issue for understanding the nature of the hypertime shadows is understanding that it's what we are that is moving, that is being translated through time, that creates our perception of light. In other words, light that we perceive to be coming from the sun is perceived as such because we are being translated through this common carrier wave, through time. Our moments in time, our individual Earth moments, undulate through the electromagnetic field, through the hypertime, under, uh, the, through the uh, common carrier, through hypertime, to the next moment. And so we come apart and go back together in the moment. That's what the photon particle wave duality resolves to in astrotometry. The, the, this is a very, very difficult concept to understand. It totally, I mean, this is the astrotome. That's the concept of the astrotome. And in astrotometry, it's the astrotometric translation, the translation through the astrotome that moves us through time and is responsible for what we see in the heavens is the reason that we see what we see up there. And so the, like I said, <laughs> like I said before, <laughs> this is some heavy, heavy duty stuff. And I'm, I feel very fortunate to have uh, come to this understanding and I think it's I think it's imperative that I, I I do what I feel I need to do and get this information out into um, into the world into our world so that we can evolve as as a uh, an intelligent um, uh, <laughs> a perhaps more intelligent <laughs> species and so this is a this is important this is very very important. And not just, I mean, obviously not just for the uh, implications of what it means to travel in outer space, but to understand a lot of the, uh, the more difficult, uh, challenging things that uh, we kind of have a, have a concept for, but we haven't been able to put uh, an exact science on. Think about these types of disturbances that happen outside of, of the Earth's sphere they actually relate to the the very mechanisms of cause and effect. Um, I, I have to I have to put this out. I'm I'm really bent uh, towards Einstein on this. Um, I, I I consider this work a defense of Einstein, Aristotle, um, and Michelson, um, Plato. Um, I'm I'm defending these guys. I think that Einstein was right about God not playing dice. If you look at the nature of the common carrier. If you look at the if you look at the underlying nature, it implies that that something creates the earth in the moment. And so, uh, in siding with Einstein, um, I think that there are causal chains that are actually um, independent of any probabilistic field. Um, the The reason that we have this probabilistic field in quantum mechanics can also be resolved to this. The, the concept of a probability. I'm gonna. I have to have to kind of uh, uh, break with uh, some of my uh, contemporaries here and say that the reason we have this probability in the uh, uncertainty of the of the uh, position and, and velocity of the particle in time space is because of the cause and effects um, that are in astrotometry physically represented in events like this. The event of the comet coming in, uh, when it strikes the sun, we get to see something absolutely amazing. This is, this is, this is the thing that all of the, the solar scientists uh, are probably going to be focusing their attention on now. Because we get to see Einstein vindicated in a really big way because we get to see the matter-energy transformation relationship happening. The surface of the sun represents the fold in time space 
if you can imagine uh, a photon moving in this direction, it, it, this, this point in time represents the place where the photon spin entanglement um, resolves itself. Because you've got, you've got the photon, it appears something happens here, it travels out this way, comes back around, and meets itself, where matter and energy come together. The, the coronal mass ejection that, that happens when this object hits the sun is the very event that created it. And so you're seeing the ends of time-space. And so you're seeing what creates matter um, and destroys it simultaneously happening on the surface of the sun. This is the hidden variable in quantum mechanics. And understanding it is simply a matter of wrapping your head around hypertime. It's very clear. My vision of that is very clear. It's not religious. Einstein, I think, was right. God does not play dice. There is a hidden variable. It's called hypertime in astrotometry.